The Development of the Science Fiction Genre Through 1984 by George Orwell Science fiction has been a popular genre for over a century, exploring the possibilities of the future and the impact of technology on society. One of the most influential works in the genre is George Orwell's 1984, which was first published in 1949. This novel has had a profound impact on the evolution of science fiction, and has influenced countless writers, filmmakers and artists in the decades since its publication. In this article, we will explore the evolution of the science fiction genre through 1984 by George Orwell. The Origins of Science Fiction Science fiction as a genre has its roots in the 19th century, with the works of Jules Verne and H.G. Wells. These writers explored the possibilities of science and technology, imagining what the future might hold and how it might impact society. Their works were often optimistic, imagining a world in which science and technology had solved many of the problems of the present day. In the early 20th century, science fiction began to evolve and mature. Writers such as Arthur C. Clarke, Isaac Asimov, and Robert Heinlein explored more complex themes, such as the relationship between humans and technology, the impact of scientific progress on society, and the nature of humanity itself. Science fiction also began to incorporate elements of social and political commentary, reflecting the concerns of the time. The Impact of 1984 George Orwell's 1984 was published in 1949, at the height of the Cold War. The novel explores a dystopian future in which the government has complete control over every aspect of citizens' lives, using surveillance, propaganda, and violence to maintain its power. The novel is a powerful critique of totalitarianism, and has had a profound impact on the evolution of the science fiction genre. One of the ways in which 1984 has influenced science fiction is through its portrayal of dystopian societies. Prior to the publication of 1984, Science fiction tended to be optimistic about the future, imagining a world in which science and technology had solved many of the problems of the present day. However, 1984 introduced a darker, more pessimistic vision of the future, in which technology was used to control and oppress people. This vision of the future has become a staple of science fiction, inspiring countless dystopian novels, films, and television shows. Another way in which 1984 has influenced science fiction is through its exploration of the relationship between humans and technology. In 1984, technology is used to control and oppress people, but it also holds the potential for liberation and resistance. This theme has been explored in countless science fiction works since 1984, from the cyborgs of Blade Runner to the virtual realities of the Matrix. Finally, 1984 has influenced science fiction through its use of social and political commentary. The novel is a powerful critique of totalitarianism, and reflects Orwell's concerns about the rise of authoritarian regimes in the aftermath of World War II. This theme has been echoed in countless science fiction works since 1984, from the dystopian societies of the Hunger Games to the political allegories of Star Trek. The Legacy of 1984 Since its publication in 1949, 1984 has become a cultural touchstone, inspiring countless works of literature, film, television, and music. The novel has had a profound impact on the science fiction genre, shaping its evolution and influencing generations of writers, filmmakers, and artists. 
One of the most significant ways in which 1984 has influenced contemporary culture is through its impact on political discourse. The novel's critique of totalitarianism has become a powerful symbol of resistance and dissent, inspiring movements for democracy and human rights around the world. The novel's concepts of surveillance, propaganda, and thought control have also become highly relevant. In the age of social media and big data, as governments and corporations seek to exert ever greater control over people's lives. Another way in which 1984 has influenced contemporary culture is through its impact on popular culture. The novel has inspired countless films, television shows, and video games, from the dystopian landscapes of the Hunger Games to the totalitarian regimes of V for Vendetta. The novel's themes have also been explored in music, from David Bowie's Diamond Dogs to Radiohead's 2 plus 2 equals 5. Finally, 1984 has influenced contemporary culture through its impact on literature. The novel has inspired countless works of science fiction, from the cyberpunk of William Gibson to the political allegories of Margaret Atwood. The novel's themes of surveillance, propaganda, and thought control have also been explored in literary works outside of the science fiction genre, from the political thrillers of John le Carre to the dystopian novels of Cormac McCarthy. Conclusion In conclusion, 1984 by George Orwell has had a profound impact on the evolution of the science fiction genre. The novel introduced a darker, more pessimistic vision of the future, in which technology was us too. Control and oppress people, and explored complex themes such as the relationship between humans and technology and the nature of political power and control. The novel's impact on science fiction can still be seen today, with its influence on popular culture, politics, and literature. 1984 is a powerful reminder of the dangers of totalitarianism and the importance of freedom and democracy, and its enduring legacy is a testament to the power of science fiction to imagine and critique the future. The science fiction genre has been around for centuries, but it was not until the 20th century that it truly began to take shape as a distinct literary genre. One of the most influential works in the evolution of science fiction is 1984 by George Orwell. This novel, published in 1949, has had a profound impact on the science fiction genre, both in terms of its themes and its style. In this article, we will explore the evolution of the science fiction genre through 1984 by George Orwell. Dystopian Society One of the most significant contributions that 1984 has made to the science fiction genre is its portrayal of a dystopian society. The novel's depiction of a totalitarian government that controls every aspect of its citizens' lives has become a common theme in science fiction. Dystopian societies are now a staple of the genre, and can be found in works ranging from The Hunger Games to The Handmaid's Tale. Surveillance and Privacy Another major theme that 1984 explores is surveillance and privacy. The novel's portrayal of a government that monitors its citizens' every move has become an enduring element of the science fiction genre. Today, as technology continues to advance and governments become more involved in monitoring their citizens, the themes of surveillance and privacy have become even more relevant. Language and Thought Control 1984 also explores the idea of language and thought control. The novel's portrayal of a government that seeks to control its citizens' thoughts and language has had a profound impact on the science fiction genre. Today, 
works like Brave New World and Fahrenheit 451 continue to explore the idea of language and thought control, and their influence can be traced back to 1984. Style In addition to its themes, 1984 has also had a significant impact on the style of science fiction. The novel's use of a bleak, dystopian setting and its focus on the psychological and emotional impact of oppressive governments have become hallmarks of the science fiction genre. The impact of the sun also rises on Ernest Hemingway's writing style. Ernest Hemingway is widely regarded as one of the most influential writers of the 20th century. His spare, direct writing style, characterized by short, simple sentences and a focus on concrete details, has had a profound impact on the way writers approach their craft. Hemingway's writing style is often associated with his experiences as a war correspondent and a reporter. But it was also shaped by his time spent in Paris in the 1920s, where he was part of a group of writers and artists known as the Lost Generation. One event in particular, his participation in the Camp of the Rising Sun, also known as the Festival of San Fermín in Pamplona, Spain, in 1924, had a significant impact on his writing style. The Camp of the Rising Sun was an annual event held in Pamplona to celebrate San Fermín, the patron saint of the city. Hemingway attended the event with a group of American and British expatriates, including his friend and fellow writer Harold Loeb. The experience had a profound impact on Hemingway, who later wrote about it in his novel The Sun Also Rises. In the novel, Hemingway used the event as a backdrop for a story about a group of expatriates who travel from Paris to Pamplona to attend the festival. One of the most notable aspects of Hemingway's writing style in The Sun Also Rises is his use of short, simple sentences. Hemingway's sentences are often less than 10 words long, and he uses simple, direct language to convey his ideas. This style is particularly effective in conveying the sense of immediacy and intensity that characterizes the events of the novel. For example, in the opening chapter of the novel, Hemingway writes, The sun also rises. The sun also sets. And we are all going to die. That's the truth of it, you know. This passage is a good example of Hemingway's use of short, simple sentences. The sentences are declarative and direct, and they convey a sense of urgency and immediacy that draws the reader in. Another notable aspect of Hemingway's writing style in The Sun Also Rises is his focus on concrete details. Hemingway's descriptions of the sights, sounds, and smells of Pamplona are vivid and evocative, and they help to create a sense of place that is central to the novel. For example, in one passage, Hemingway describes the bullfighting arena. The bullring was packed, the crowd a solid mass of white shirts and Panama hats, the men leaning forward, their faces intent. The sun blazed down on them, and the sand of the arena glittered like gold. This passage is a good example of Hemingway's focus on concrete details. The description of the crowd and the arena is vivid and detailed, and it helps to create a sense of the atmosphere and the mood of the event. Hemingway's experiences at the Camp of the Rising Sun also had an impact on his use of dialogue in The Sun Also Rises. Hemingway's characters often speak in short, clipped sentences, and they frequently use slang and colloquial language. This style of dialogue is particularly effective in conveying the character's emotions and attitudes. For example, in one scene, the character Robert Cohn says to his friend Jake Barnes, 
I'm going away from it. Where? Anywhere. This exchange is a good example of Hemingway's use of short, direct dialogue. The sentences are simple, and they convey a sense of desperation and uncertainty that characterizes Cohn's mood. In addition to shaping Hemingway's writing, the camp of the rising sun also had a significant impact on his worldview. Hemingway was deeply affected by the violence and brutality of the bullfights, and this experience led him to question his own beliefs about masculinity and courage. In The Sun Also Rises, Hemingway explores these themes through the character of Jake Barnes, a war veteran who has been emasculated by a war injury. Barnes is a complex character who struggles to come to terms with his own sense of masculinity, and his experiences in Pamplona force him to confront his own beliefs about courage and honor. Hemingway's experiences at the Camp of the Rising Sun also had an impact on his relationships with other writers and artists. Hemingway was part of a group of expatriates in Paris known as the Lost Generation, and his experiences in Pamplona helped to solidify his relationships with other members of this group. In particular, Hemingway's friendship with Gertrude Stein, a writer and art collector, was strengthened by their shared experiences in Pamplona. Stein was a mentor to Hemingway, and her influence can be seen in his writing style and his approach to storytelling. In addition to its impact on Hemingway's writing style and worldview, The Camp of the Rising Sun also had a significant influence on the literary world as a whole. Hemingway's depiction of the festival in The Sun Also Rises helped to introduce the traditions of the San Fermin Festival to a wider audience. And it helped to popularize the idea of travel and adventure as a subject for literature. Moreover, Hemingway's use of the lost generation as characters in his novel helped to define a new literary movement. The term lost generation was coined by Gertrude Stein to describe the group of writers and artists who came of age during World War I and were disillusioned by the war's aftermath. Hemingway's portrayal of the characters in The Sun also rises as disillusioned and aimless young people who are searching. For meaning in their lives spoke to a generation of readers who were also struggling to find their place in the world. Hemingway's influence on literature can be seen in the work of many writers who followed in his footsteps. His spare, direct writing style and his focus on concrete details have been emulated by countless writers. And his influence can be seen in the work of writers like Raymond Carver, Cormac McCarthy, and Joan Didion, among others. Moreover, Hemingway's approach to storytelling, which emphasized action and dialogue over exposition and description, has become a hallmark of modernist and postmodernist literature. The impact of the Camp of the Rising Sun on Hemingway's writing and worldview was not limited to The Sun Also Rises. In fact, many of Hemingway's subsequent works were also influenced by his experiences in Pamplona. For example, his novel Death in the Afternoon is a meditation on bullfighting and its place in Spanish culture. In this work, Hemingway explores the themes of bravery, honor, and mortality that are central to the bullfighting tradition. Like the sun also rises, Death in the Afternoon is characterized by Hemingway's spare, direct writing style and his focus on concrete details. Hemingway's experiences in Pamplona also had a significant impact on his personal life. The festival became an annual pilgrimage for Hemingway and his friends, and it helped to solidify his relationships with other writers and artists. In fact, Hemingway's circle of friends in Paris, which included the likes of F. 
Scott Fitzgerald, Ezra Pound and James Joyce, was largely formed around their shared experiences in Pamplona. Hemingway's experiences at the Camp of the Rising Sun also had an impact on the way that Americans viewed Spain and Spanish culture. The literary and artistic value of Edgar Allan Poe's selected short stories. Edgar Allan Poe's selected short stories is a literary masterpiece that has been celebrated for its artistic value and contribution to the development of the short story genre. This collection of stories offers a glimpse into the dark and macabre world of Poe's imagination, and showcases the author's mastery of language, structure, and symbolism. In this essay, we will explore the literary and artistic value of selected short stories and the impact it has had on literature. The first thing that stands out about selected short stories is Poe's use of language. His writing is characterized by its rich vocabulary, intricate sentence structures, and vivid imagery. Poe's language is not only beautiful but also serves a functional purpose in his writing. His use of language helps to create a dark and haunting atmosphere that is central to his stories. For example, in The Pit and the Pendulum, Poe uses descriptive language to vividly depict the torture chamber and the protagonist's fear and desperation. The language in this story is so effective that readers can almost feel the terror and anguish that the protagonist experiences. Another important aspect of Poe's writing is his use of structure. Poe's stories are carefully crafted to create a sense of suspense and tension that keeps readers engaged until the very end. He often employs a non-linear structure using flashbacks and foreshadowing to create a sense of mystery and intrigue. In the cask of Amontillado, for instance, Poe uses a frame narrative structure to slowly reveal the dark intentions of the protagonist. The structure of this story is so effective that readers are left guessing until the very end, when the true nature of the protagonist's plan is revealed. Symbolism is yet another important aspect of Poe's writing. His stories are filled with symbols and metaphors that add depth and meaning to the narrative. In The Mask of the Red Death, for instance, the color red symbolizes death and the inevitability of mortality. The use of symbolism in this story not only adds a layer of meaning to the narrative but also enhances the overall artistic value of the story. The themes explored in selected short stories are also of great literary value. One of the central themes in Poe's writing is the human condition, particularly the darker aspects of human nature such as fear, guilt, and despair. His stories often explore the psychological torment and inner turmoil of his characters, creating a sense of empathy and understanding in readers. The Telltale Heart, for example, delves into the mind of a murderer and explores the guilt and paranoia that consume him. This examination of the human psyche is a hallmark of Poe's writing and adds to the overall literary and artistic value of his stories. In addition to its literary value, selected short stories has also had a significant impact on literature. Poe is widely regarded as the father of the modern short story and is credited with popularizing the genre. His innovative use of language, structure, and symbolism has inspired countless writers and has had a lasting influence on literature. Many of his stories have been adapted into films, plays, and other forms of media, further cementing his legacy as a master of storytelling. One of the reasons why selected short stories has had such an impact on literature is its ability to transcend time and place. 
despite being written over a century ago, Poe's stories continue to resonate with readers today. This is due in part to the universality of the themes he explores, such as the fear of death and the allure of the unknown. Additionally, his stories are able to transcend cultural boundaries and have been translated into numerous languages, making them accessible to readers all over the world. Another important aspect of selected short stories is its ability to challenge conventional thinking. Poe stories often subvert readers' expectations and force them to confront uncomfortable truths about the human experience. For example, in The Black Cat, Poe challenges readers' assumptions about the nature of evil and asks them to consider the possibility that it may exist within us all. This willingness to explore taboo subjects and to challenge readers' preconceived notions is a hallmark of Poe's writing and adds to the overall artistic value of his stories. The impact of selected short stories can also be seen in the numerous adaptations and references to Poe's work in popular culture. His stories have been adapted into films, television shows, and even video games, showcasing the enduring appeal of his writing. Additionally, Poe's influence can be felt in the works of countless writers and artists who have been inspired by his style and subject matter. From H.P. Lovecraft to Stephen King, the influence of Poe's writing can be seen in the work of some of the most celebrated writers of the 20th century. One of the most significant aspects of selected short stories is Poe's exploration of the supernatural and the unknown. His stories often feature elements of the supernatural, such as ghosts, demons, and haunted houses. However, Poe's use of these elements is not simply for the sake of creating a spooky atmosphere. Rather, he uses the supernatural to explore deeper themes and to delve into the human psyche. For example, in The Fall of the House of Usher, the supernatural elements serve to heighten the sense of dread and to reflect the protagonist's mental state. This use of the supernatural to explore psychological themes is a hallmark of Poe's writing and adds to the overall artistic value of his stories. Another important aspect of selected short stories is the way in which Poe uses irony and ambiguity to create a sense of uncertainty and unease. His stories often feature unreliable narrators and ambiguous endings that leave readers questioning what they have just read. For example, in The Purloined Letter, the ending is deliberately ambiguous, leaving readers to draw their own conclusions about what has happened. This use of irony and ambiguity is another way in which Poe challenges readers to think critically and to question their assumptions. In addition to its artistic value, selected short stories also has historical significance. Poe's writing was a product of its time, reflecting the cultural and social context in which he lived. His stories often deal with issues such as class, race, and gender, and provide a window into the social and political climate of the 19th century. For example, in The Gold Bug, Poe explores issues of race and identity, reflecting the racial tensions that existed in the United States at the time. This historical context adds to the overall significance of Poe's writing and highlights the important role that literature can play in shaping the cultural discourse. Another important aspect of selected short stories is the way in which Poe explores the concept of madness. Many of his stories feature characters who are struggling with mental illness or who are on the brink of insanity. For example, in The Telltale Heart, the protagonist is driven to madness by his guilt over a murder he has committed. 
This exploration of madness allows Poe to delve into the depths of the human psyche and to question the nature of reality itself. The Development of Literary Lore Through the Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings is a literary masterpiece that has had a significant impact on the development of the fantasy genre. The novel, published in three volumes between 1954 and 1955, tells the story of a hobbit named Frodo Baggins and his quest to destroy the One Ring. A powerful artifact that has the power to bring about the end of the world. In this essay, we will explore the development of the fantasy genre through The Lord of the Rings and the impact it has had on literature. One of the most significant contributions of The Lord of the Rings to the fantasy genre is its creation of a detailed and fully realized fictional world. Tolkien's Middle-earth is a vast and complex world, filled with rich history, diverse cultures, and intricate mythologies. The depth and complexity of Middle-earth has inspired countless other fantasy writers, who have sought to create similarly immersive and detailed fictional worlds. Additionally, Tolkien's creation of new languages, such as Elvish and Dwarvish, added a level of authenticity to his world-building that has become a hallmark of the fantasy genre. Another important aspect of The Lord of the Rings is its use of archetypes and mythological motifs. Tolkien drew heavily from Norse and Celtic mythology, as well as from his own Catholic faith, to create a rich tapestry of archetypal characters and themes. The Hero's Journey the quest for a powerful object, and the battle between good and evil are all present in The Lord of the Rings and have since become staples of the fantasy genre. Additionally, Tolkien's use of epic battles and magical creatures, such as dragons and wizards, added a sense of grandeur and scale to his storytelling that has been emulated by countless other fantasy writers. Tolkien's writing style is also noteworthy. His use of language is rich and evocative, with a particular emphasis on the natural world and the beauty of the landscape. His descriptions of Middle-earth's forests, rivers, and mountains are so vivid that they become characters in their own right. Additionally, Tolkien's use of poetry and song adds to the overall artistic value of his writing and creates a sense of rhythm and flow that is unique to his storytelling. The Lord of the Rings has had a significant impact on literature, both in terms of its literary and popular appeal. The novel has sold millions of copies worldwide and has been translated into numerous languages, making it one of the best-selling books of all time. Additionally, the novel has been adapted into several films, further cementing its place in popular culture. The enduring popularity of The Lord of the Rings is a testament to its timeless appeal and to the universality of its themes. One of the ways in which The Lord of the Rings has had a significant impact on literature is through its exploration of themes such as power, corruption, and the nature of good and evil. The novel portrays the corrupting influence of power and the dangers of succumbing to greed and ambition. The character of Gollum, who is consumed by his desire for the One Ring, serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of obsession and addiction. Similarly, the novel's portrayal of the corrupting influence of the Ring on Boromir highlights the difficulty of resisting temptation and the importance of moral fortitude. Another important theme explored in The Lord of the Rings is the nature of good and evil. The novel challenges traditional notions of morality by portraying characters who are neither wholly good nor wholly evil. The character of Aragorn, for example, 
is a complex and multifaceted character who struggles with his own doubts and insecurities. Similarly, the character of Gollum is portrayed as both a victim and a villain, highlighting the complexity of human nature and the difficulty of making moral judgments. Tolkien's use of language and mythology has also had a significant impact on literature. His creation of new languages, such as Elvish and Dwarvish, has inspired other writers to create their own fictional languages. Additionally, his use of mythology has influenced the development of the fantasy genre, encouraging other writers to draw on mythological motifs and archetypes in their own writing. The Lord of the Rings has also had a significant impact on popular culture. The novel's themes and characters have been referenced and adapted in countless films, television shows, and other forms of media. Its influence can be seen in the works of contemporary writers and artists, who have been inspired by Tolkien's storytelling and world-building. Another significant impact of The Lord of the Rings is its portrayal of the importance of friendship, loyalty, and sacrifice. The novel highlights the bonds of fellowship that exist between the characters and the importance of working together to achieve a common goal. The characters' willingness to make sacrifices for each other, even in the face of great danger, serves as a reminder of the power of love and compassion. Additionally, The Lord of the Rings has had a significant impact on the way in which fantasy is perceived as a genre. Prior to its publication, fantasy literature was often dismissed as a niche genre with limited appeal. However, The Lord of the Rings demonstrated that fantasy could be a serious and sophisticated form of literature, capable of exploring complex themes and ideas. This shift in perception helped to legitimize the genre and pave the way for future writers to explore the possibilities of fantasy literature. Tolkien's influence can also be seen in the works of other writers, particularly in the development of the high fantasy subgenre. High fantasy, characterized by its complex world building, epic scope, and use of archetypes and mythological motifs, has become a staple of the fantasy genre. Tolkien's influence can be seen in the works of writers such as George R. R. Martin, Patrick Rothfuss, and Brandon Sanderson, who have continued to push the boundaries of the genre. Finally, it is worth noting the impact that The Lord of the Rings has had on popular culture. The novel has spawned countless merchandise, including action figures, video games, and board games. Additionally, the success of the film adaptations, released between 2001 and 2003, helped to bring the world of Middle-earth to a whole new audience. The enduring popularity of The Lord of the Rings is a testament to its universal appeal and its status as a cultural touchstone. Another important aspect of The Lord of the Rings is its portrayal of the natural world. Tolkien was an avid nature lover and his writing reflects his deep reverence for the beauty and majesty of the natural world. His descriptions of Middle-earth's landscapes, flora, and fauna are so vivid that they transport the reader directly into the world he has created. This emphasis on the natural world has had a significant impact on the environmental movement, inspiring many readers to appreciate and protect the natural world. The Lord of the Rings has also had a significant impact on the way in which literature is studied and taught. The novel's complexity and depth have made it a popular subject of academic study, with scholars exploring its themes, literary techniques, and cultural significance. Additionally, the novel's popularity has led to the development of new fields of study, such as Tolkien studies and fantasy studies. 
which are dedicated to the exploration of Tolkien's work and the fantasy genre more broadly. Love and Maturity in the Work of Leo Tolstoy Leo Tolstoy's works is a literary masterpiece of Russian literature, written by the renowned writer Leo Tolstoy. Set in 19th century Russia, the work focuses on stories of love and maturity of its characters. From young characters like Natasha and Pierre to mature ones like Anna Karenina and Levin, the work presents profound insights into love and maturity. Love is a central theme in Leo Tolstoy's works. From the first love of Natasha and Andrei to the tragic love of Anna Karenina and Vronsky, the work offers various perspectives on love and its pain. One of the main themes of the work is love as a force that transcends social boundaries and prejudices. Characters like Pierre and Natasha have to face opposition from their families and society when they fall in love. However, their love overcomes these obstacles and becomes eternal. However, the work also shows that love can lead to suffering and failure. Anna Karenina is a clear example of this as she is isolated by her family and society and ultimately commits suicide because of her love for Vronsky. The work demonstrates that love can be a source of inspiration, but it can also lead to regretful consequences. The work also presents many insights into maturity and responsibility. Levin is a mature and responsible character who seeks the meaning of life and ways to contribute to society. In contrast, Anna Karenina is an irresponsible character who does not take responsibility for her actions and ultimately suffers the consequences. The work also presents many insights into freedom and personal responsibility. Although characters such as Natasha and Pierre face pressure from their families and society, they still have the right to make their own decisions about their lives. However, the work also shows that freedom must come with personal responsibility and morality. Leo Tolstoy's works also presents a number of perspectives on love and marriage. The work shows that marriage is not just a union of two individuals, but also a union of two families and two different societies. Characters like Anna Karenina and Kitty have to face pressure from their families and society to find a suitable partner for marriage. However, the work also shows that true love can only happen between two people who genuinely love each other rather than just a union of families and society. The work also presents many insights into love and change. Characters like Natasha and Pierre have to go through a process of growth and change to achieve their love. Natasha, for instance, starts as a carefree and innocent girl, but later on, she has to learn to become a mature woman to deal with the difficulties in her love life. Similarly, Pierre also has to undergo a process of growth and change to achieve his love with Natasha. The work also shows that love can be a source of inspiration for becoming a better person. Levin is an excellent example of this as he finds the meaning of life in love and strives to contribute to society. The work also shows that love can help us understand more about the essence of humanity and develop empathy and compassion. Furthermore, Leo Tolstoy's works also explores the idea of self-discovery and personal growth through love. Characters like Natasha and Pierre have to learn to understand themselves and their desires through their experiences with love. Natasha for instance, discovers her own strength and maturity as she navigates through the challenges of her love life. Meanwhile, 
Pierre learns to let go of his past and embrace his true self to find happiness and fulfillment with Natasha. The work also shows that love can have a transformative effect on individuals and their relationships. Characters like Levin and Kitty, for instance, learn to adapt and grow together through the challenges of marriage. Levin, in particular, undergoes a significant transformation as he learns to reconcile his intellectual pursuits with his responsibilities as a father and husband. Moreover, Leo Tolstoy's works also explores the theme of societal expectations and individual desires. Characters like Anna Karenina and Vronsky struggle to reconcile their love for each other with the expectations of their respective social classes. Similarly, characters like Levin and Pierre face pressure to conform to societal norms and expectations, but ultimately learn to follow their own desires and aspirations. Ultimately, Leo Tolstoy's works is a timeless masterpiece that continues to resonate with readers today. The work offers profound insights into the complexity of human relationships, the nature of love and maturity, and the importance of self-discovery and personal growth. Through its rich characters and intricate plot lines, the work encourages readers to reflect on their own lives. and relationships and to strive towards a deeper understanding of themselves and the world around them. Additionally, Leo Tolstoy's works also explores the idea of sacrifice in love. Characters like Anna Karenina and Levin have to make difficult choices and sacrifices in the name of love. Anna, for instance, sacrifices her social status and reputation for her love for Vronsky, while Levin sacrifices his personal desires for the good of his family and society. These sacrifices underscore the idea that love often requires us to put others' needs before our own and to make difficult choices for the sake of the ones we love. The work also presents many insights into the nature of passion and desire. Characters like Anna Karenina and Vronsky are driven by their passionate love for each other, but their passion ultimately leads to their downfall. Meanwhile, characters like Levin and Kitty learn to cultivate a deeper, more enduring love built on mutual respect and understanding. These contrasting perspectives on passion and desire demonstrate the dangers of unchecked passion and the importance of cultivating a more balanced and sustainable approach to love. Finally, Leo Tolstoy's works also explores the theme of forgiveness and redemption. Characters like Levin and Kitty learn to forgive each other's mistakes and shortcomings, while Anna Karenina seeks redemption for her past mistakes. These themes underscore the idea that love and maturity require us to be compassionate, forgiving, and understanding towards ourselves and others. Furthermore, Leo Tolstoy's works also delves into the theme of morality and ethics in love. Characters like Anna Karenina and Vronsky challenge societal norms and expectations by pursuing their passionate love, but their actions ultimately lead to tragic consequences. Meanwhile, characters like Levin and Kitty embrace traditional values and build their love on a foundation of mutual respect, trust, and honesty. These contrasting perspectives on morality and ethics underscore the idea that love and maturity require us to consider the consequences of our actions and to act in a responsible and ethical manner. The work also explores the idea of self-sacrifice in love. Characters like Pierre and Natasha learn to put the needs of their loved ones before their own desires and ambitions. Concepts of Love and Marriage in the Tale of Genji The Tale of Genji is a classic work of Japanese literature, written by the noblewoman Murasaki Shikibu in the early 11th century. 
the novel explores the life and loves of the titular character, Prince Genji, and his relationships with the women in his life. Central to the novel are the themes of love and marriage, and the ways in which these concepts were understood and practiced in Heian era Japan. In this essay, we will examine the cultural beliefs and attitudes towards love and marriage in the tale of Genji, and explore the ways in which these beliefs shape the novel's narrative and characters. One of the key cultural beliefs about love and marriage in the tale of Genji is the concept of courtly love. This concept, which emerged in medieval Europe and was later adapted in Japan, celebrated the idea of romantic love as a means of spiritual transcendence. In the tale of Genji, courtly love is presented as a central ideal of aristocratic culture, and serves as a means of exploring the emotional and spiritual lives of its characters. The novel reflects the belief that love can be a transformative force, capable of elevating individuals beyond the mundane concerns of daily life. Another important cultural belief about love and marriage in the tale of Genji is the concept of beauty. In Heian era Japan, physical beauty was highly valued, and was seen as a reflection of inner beauty and grace. The novel reflects this belief and its emphasis on the physical beauty of its characters, particularly the women. The novel's description of the women's physical attributes serves as a means of exploring their inner beauty and emotional depth. At the same time, the tale of Genji also reflects the complex social and cultural attitudes towards women in Heian era Japan. Women were expected to be submissive and obedient to their male partners, and were often valued primarily for their physical beauty and ability to bear children. The novel reflects these attitudes in its portrayal of the women as objects of desire, and in the ways in which their relationships with men are shaped by societal expectations and gender roles. Another important cultural belief about love and marriage in the tale of Genji is the concept of marriage as a means of strengthening social and political alliances. In Heian era Japan, marriages were often arranged for political or economic reasons, and were seen as a means of consolidating power and influence. The novel reflects this belief and its portrayal of the various marriages and relationships between its characters. and in the ways in which these relationships are shaped by political and social considerations. At the same time, the tale of Genji also explores the emotional and psychological complexities of marriage and romantic relationships. The novel reflects the belief that love and marriage can be sources of both joy and sorrow, and that the emotional bonds between individuals can be both powerful and fragile. The novel's depiction of the various romantic relationships between its characters serves as a means of exploring the complex emotions and motivations that underlie these relationships. The tale of Genji also reflects the cultural belief in the importance of social status and hierarchy. In Heian era Japan, social status was determined by birth and rank and was a central aspect of the aristocratic culture depicted in the novel. The novel reflects this belief in its portrayal of the characters' social and political positions, and in the ways in which these positions shape their relationships and interactions with one another. The characters' social status is often a source of tension and conflict in the novel, and serves as a means of exploring the complex power dynamics of aristocratic society. Another important cultural belief about love and marriage in the tale of Genji is the concept of duty and obligation. In Heian era Japan, 
duty and obligation were highly valued, and were seen as essential aspects of social and familial relationships. The novel reflects this belief in its portrayal of the characters' sense of duty towards their families and their social roles. And in the ways in which these obligations shape their relationships and interactions with one another. The character's sense of duty often conflicts with their personal desires and emotions, and serves as a means of exploring the tensions between personal and social obligations. The novel also reflects the cultural belief in the transience of life and the impermanence of human relationships. In Heian era Japan, the concept of mono no aware, or the pathos of things, reflected the belief in the fleeting nature of life and the beauty of impermanence. The novel reflects this belief in its portrayal of the characters' experiences of love and loss, and in the ways in which these experiences are shaped by the impermanence of human relationships. The characters' experiences of love and loss are often marked by a sense of melancholy and nostalgia, and serve as a means of exploring the themes of mortality and impermanence. Finally, the tale of Genji also explores the theme of personal growth and transformation. The characters in the novel undergo significant emotional and psychological changes over the course of their lives, reflecting the belief in the potential for personal growth and transformation. The novel's depiction of the characters' journeys of self-discovery serves as a means of exploring the themes of identity and selfhood. and provides insight into the ways in which personal experiences and relationships shape our sense of self. Another important cultural belief about love and marriage in the tale of Genji is the concept of honor. In Heian era Japan, honor was highly valued and was seen as a central aspect of aristocratic culture. The novel reflects this belief in its portrayal of the characters' sense of honor and duty towards their families and their social roles. The characters' sense of honor often conflicts with their personal desires and emotions, and serves as a means of exploring the tensions between personal and social obligations. The novel also reflects the cultural belief in the power of language and poetry to convey emotions and express personal identity. In Heian era Japan, the art of poetry was highly valued, and was seen as a means of expressing personal emotions and experiences. The novel reflects this belief in its frequent use of poetry to convey the characters' inner thoughts and emotions. The characters' use of language and poetry serves as a means of exploring the themes of self-expression and personal identity. Another important cultural belief about love and marriage in the tale of Genji is the concept of loyalty. Loyalty to one's family and social group was highly valued in Heian era Japan, and was seen as a means of maintaining social order and stability. The novel reflects this belief in its portrayal of the characters' loyalty to their families and social groups. and in the ways in which this loyalty shapes their relationships and interactions with one another. The character's sense of loyalty often conflicts with their personal desires and emotions, and serves as a means of exploring the tensions between personal and social obligations. Finally, the tale of Genji also explores the theme of spiritual and emotional transcendence, The characters in the novel often seek to transcend the limitations of their social and emotional lives, and to achieve a state of spiritual or emotional enlightenment. The novel's depiction of the characters' spiritual and emotional journeys serves as a means of exploring the themes of self-discovery and personal growth. 
and provides insight into the ways in which personal experiences and relationships shape our sense of self. Another important cultural belief about love and marriage in the tale of Genji is the concept of fate. In Heian era Japan, fate was seen as a powerful force that determined the course of individuals' lives. The novel reflects this belief in its portrayal of the characters' experiences of love and loss, and in the ways in which these experiences are shaped by the workings of fate. Love and Life in Shakespeare's Works The theme of love and life's journey is central to many of William Shakespeare's plays. Throughout his works, Shakespeare explores the complexities of human relationships, the ups and downs of love, and the challenges and triumphs of life's journey. In this essay, we will examine some of Shakespeare's most famous plays and their treatment of these themes. One of Shakespeare's most beloved plays is Romeo and Juliet, a tragic love story set in Verona, Italy. The play tells the story of two young lovers, Romeo and Juliet, who come from opposing families and must navigate the obstacles and challenges of their forbidden love. Through their journey, the play explores the power of love to transcend social and cultural barriers, as well as the destructive consequences of hate and prejudice. Moreover, the play also explores the idea of fate and destiny, as Romeo and Juliet are ultimately doomed by circumstances beyond their control. Through their tragic ending, the play reminds us of the fragility and unpredictability of life's journey, and of the importance of seizing the moment and living life to the fullest. Another play that explores the theme of love and life's journey is As You Like It. The play tells the story of Rosalind, a young woman who is banished from her home and must disguise herself as a man in order to survive. Along the way, she falls in love with Orlando, a young man who is also searching for his place in the world. Through their journey, the play explores the transformative power of love and the importance of finding one's true self. Rosalind's journey of self-discovery and transformation reminds us of the importance of embracing our true selves, even in the face of adversity and social pressure. Another play that explores the theme of love and life's journey is The Tempest. The play tells the story of Prospero, a powerful wizard who is stranded on a remote island with his daughter, Miranda. Through his magic, Prospero manipulates the events on the island, bringing together a group of people who have wronged him in the past. Through their interactions and relationships, the play explores the complexities of human nature and the power of forgiveness and redemption. The play's focus on the journey of self-discovery and the importance of self-reflection reminds us of the importance of taking responsibility for our actions and learning from our mistakes. Finally, Hamlet is another play that explores the theme of love and life's journey. The play tells the story of Prince Hamlet, who is consumed by grief and anger after the death of his father. Through his journey, the play explores the complexities of human emotion and the destructive power of revenge. Through his struggles, Hamlet ultimately learns the importance of forgiveness and the need to let go of the past in order to move forward. The play's focus on the journey of self-discovery and the importance of personal transformation reminds us of the importance of learning from our experiences and growing as individuals. Another play that delves into the theme of love and life's journey is Twelfth Night. The play tells the story of Viola, a young woman who disguises herself as a man in order to enter the service of Duke Orsino. Along the way, she falls in love with the Duke, but finds herself caught up in a web of mistaken identities and romantic entanglements. Through its exploration of gender roles and sexual identity, the play challenges traditional notions of love and romance, and reminds us of the fluidity and complexity of human desire. The play's focus on identity and self-discovery highlights the importance of being true to oneself, 
even in the face of societal expectations and norms. Another play that explores the theme of love and life's journey is A Midsummer Night's Dream. The play tells the story of four young lovers who become entangled in a web of magical and romantic mishaps in the enchanted forest. Through their journey, the play explores the transformative power of love and its ability to overcome all obstacles and barriers. Moreover, the play also emphasizes the importance of imagination and creativity in shaping our experiences and perceptions of the world around us. The play's focus on the magical and fantastical reminds us of the power of the human imagination to create meaning and beauty in our lives. Finally, Macbeth is another play that touches on the theme of love and life's journey. While the play is primarily a tragedy, it also explores the complexities of human relationships and the destructive power of unchecked ambition and desire. Through the character of Lady Macbeth, the play depicts the consequences of sacrificing love and morality in the pursuit of power and success. The play serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of losing sight of what truly matters in life, and the importance of maintaining our moral compass even in the face of temptation and adversity. Another play that explores the theme of love and life's journey is Othello. The play tells the story of Othello, a successful military leader who falls in love with Desdemona, a young woman of nobility. However, their love is threatened by the scheming of Iago, Othello's deceitful and jealous ensign, who seeks to destroy their relationship and ultimately leads to tragedy. Through its exploration of jealousy and betrayal, the play highlights the fragility of human relationships and the destructive power of negative emotions. The play's focus on the journey of Othello and Desdemona's love and its ultimate demise is a poignant reminder of the importance of trust, communication, and mutual respect in any relationship. Another play that delves into the theme of love and life's journey is The Merchant of Venice. The play tells the story of a merchant named Antonio who borrows money from a Jewish moneylender named Shylock. When Antonio is unable to repay the loan, Shylock demands a pound of his flesh as payment. Through its exploration of greed and revenge, the play highlights the dangers of allowing money and material possessions to dictate our actions and relationships. The play's focus on the journey of Antonio and Shylock's relationship is a reminder of the importance of empathy and understanding in any interaction with others. Finally, King Lear is another play that touches on the theme of love and life's journey. The play tells the story of an aging king who decides to divide his kingdom among his three daughters based on their expressions of love for him. However, his decision leads to a tragic chain of events that ultimately results in his downfall. Through its exploration of loyalty and betrayal, the play highlights the importance of choosing our relationships wisely and the consequences of relying on false or superficial expressions of love. The play's focus on the journey of King Lear's life and his relationship with his daughters is a reminder of the importance of self-reflection and personal growth in our own lives. Another play that explores the theme of love and life's journey is Much Ado About Nothing. The play tells the story of two pairs of lovers, Beatrice and Benedict, and Hero and Claudio, and their journey towards love and happiness. Through its exploration of the complexities of love, the play highlights the importance of communication and trust in any relationship. The play's focus on the journey of these two pairs of lovers reminds us of the importance of overcoming our own fears and prejudices and being open to the possibility of love and happiness. Another play that touches on the theme of love and life's journey is The Taming of the Shrew. The play tells the story of Petruccio, a wealthy and eccentric man who seeks to tame Catherine, a strong-willed and independent woman, and make her his wife. Through its exploration of gender roles and power dynamics, the play challenges traditional notions of love and romance, and reminds us of the importance of mutual respect and understanding in any relationship.